Hello everyone. Today let's let's talk about the update 1.77. Tactical tactical view improvement. So uh, I mean for this one I I don't know. Uh, I did test in the uh, other in the other thing, but I did not think it was that. Uh, um, why can I not move this guy? Oh, because I'm on the other side. Cool. Yeah. So you can press T, Control T. This is the other tactical view. This is the the regular. One. I uh, I always use this one. I'm gonna put this one here, and I'm gonna put this one here, for example. For this map, it's a uh, this tactical view is great. It will be good for the stuff like uh, when you have to. Uh, um, when you have to look for the fan, for example, when you do the rally station dungeon and stuff like that, uh, put a marker on cell. So you can do this. That's pretty cool. You can press R, R, shift R, not shift R. Yeah, I know I have my chest. Why does it say R, but then it does not work? Can you put as much as you want? So yeah, Control T here for the tactical view. You can always click there. Uh, this one was uh, this, right? And this one is this. So R, then click. No. R R. Okay, you you really have to click R and then R again and then click, and then you can go like, no, nah, don't go there. Uh, Okay, so it's one at a time. It's pretty cool, pretty cool when you play uh, with other players. I, I'm not really sure uh, how to the team, sell how to the team, it's just the same. So I don't know why you can put... Uh, uh, the love thing, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> you can say you love your teammate. I, I think it's pretty nice, to be honest, that to have some interaction like that. Okay. So this is about the tactical view. Now the quick trade, one of my favorite. Oh, the this has changed as well. They changed the little uh, victory screen after, so there will be more information. Um, let's see the trading though first. Is there a difference? Because it seems that you can trade using the all the the people inventory. I read something about that, but maybe I'm. Maybe you can just use your heroes' inventory. No. Oh. Oh, you can you can just trade everything you have, as well. Interesting. I mean, they can they know that people play Trekkie. <laughs> That's for sure. That's basically what it is. Okay, you you can clear it. Okay, you can put your wall inventory, but you still have. A, okay, but you can, to be fair, you can take the content of your other characters and put it all in the same place. So here, I click on this uh, here, and boom. My heroes inventory come in mine. Uh, harmful though, so there there will be someone with still items on him. So they still have this item here and this. Yeah, so this guy still have an item. If now I trade my main guy here, I'm not gonna put everything because I I want to keep some items. Ah, uh, you know what? Other than these things here, I'm just going to remove that. Okay. Well, these these are trash to me. I mean, I would I would destroy this first as well. I could do it on my strand, but uh, this has no value. All right, let's go with this. Since this one is not identified, the items that he has on the panda right now. Now, if I click it again. You see the panda items has just been transferred. The consumable and stuff like that stay on the character, which I think is uh, perfect this way. 
And there we go. So now I am back with these items here. This item has no value. So now I could just go on my SRAM here, go like, hey, do you want to get all my stuff? I would just take everything here and I will remove uh, actually the, the seeds. Well, they're not really useful anymore, but because uh, they're not all of them are, I'm missing uh, some, but anyway, uh, I'm doing the daily uh, with my, uh, my guy. Oh uh, yeah, I need to put them back on my characters. Well, to be fair, it's finished here. So everything else is fine to me to trade. So I can trade it there, boom. And in the, the Haven bag now, in the chest, you can, it's way better for that. You don't have to click, 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 click everything, right? You just, I go there, drop glue. I have these items. Uh, for this one, I have these items. For this one, I have these items. For now, you see nothing move. But oh, this one, you see there was items here. My resources will start to go in as well. And this one is my last resources. And there we go. So that I clear everything. So I can see that I'm missing the Brackmar thing. It should be here. So I don't know why the Brackmar was missing here, but uh, anyway. So that, that thing is awesome to me. That's the most, uh, like that's way faster. I, I was so annoyed to trade my stuff all the time. So to me, it's the big win of this update is this for sure. All right, so quick trade, like we just said, combine the enter content inventories into one targeted, so your main character. You can, or you could, you could probably just press high and switch here and put everything in this one, right? Yeah, so you can switch it around to your characters. Um, you can now transfer the, uh, the account chest, so same thing. Only items that are already in the target chest are transferred. Chest tab, yeah, it's one tab at a time, but still way better. Single point of connection, basically you don't have the zip thing anymore. Not really useful. Useful. Kit skill is being removed. That's been a while that they put there in the description, but you have four kit natives. So basically you can equip any uh, equipment that is four levels over yours uh, until, I don't know when, true update 1.78. True update 1.78. What does that mean? Right now it's 1.77. Maybe it's up till 1.78 right so they expect you to maybe get four level in between i don't know but anyway so that's it uh some bugs fix fighter don't get a run rouse blah 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 we don't care much some some monster will have more time to hide so it seems that some monster were using 30 seconds and have not enough time probably like ultimate bosses and stuff like that i hope because if regular monster take one minute to play that's pretty annoying in my opinion Okay, uh, pressing har and har har again. So that's the thing I showed at the beginning of the video. If I can point out the cells. Classes, so scalded, and now uh, deal 10% more damage for each level. Additional and direct damage, maximum level six. So some uh, some attack like the panda can give that, the masquerader, stuff like that. Class, natural state. I'm not sure what that means here, but I think it's just when you press S here, now you can see your natural state. So here it says the skeletal assassin. So you can know now using this, uh, the strand get weak point, and when it reach 100 weak point, it will consume it. Um, well, no, it does not say that actually. It just says it in the spell itself. You consume the waku point and get uh, the weak, uh, weak point and get waku point, right? So now you have a little better idea uh, idea of how you get your waifu point because you don't have to fight to actually know. So the masquerader get one waifu point at the end of each turn if they are not wearing a mask. The only part for me here it's like you cannot remove your mask. You can only switch between, right? So I'm not sure to understand this. You have to wait the two turns so that the masquerader is like one of the worst class to get back waifu point, is it? Like it's really, it's really like you have to just use your double and kill your double and each five turn and then get one back. So you have six waku point when you summon it. I don't know. Maybe I'm confused here, but I I never seen. Maybe there was an active I'm missing, but I don't think so. No. So you cannot really just uh, you cannot just remove your mask. You can only switch to another 
And these here are all masks, or a classic mask, but it's still a mask. Right? I don't know. I feel like all of them are masks, but it, anyway, it's just uh, this one. The mine turned brown, gold. During the trough, we gain one weapon point each time the gold mine is used or destroyed. So now it's say at least, oh, okay, that's how the the, the trough is getting his waifu point. So that's pretty cool for that. Any Ripsa spell has new animation. Okay, uh, class passive, always visible in combat. Uh, damage redirected by a link of pain, not penetrate armor. Okay. Okay, the Oza. The summons, now the uh, offensive and altruistic have zero luck, so they cannot luck. The only, only the defensive can luck. The other monster will have all the dodge. So 100% of the dodge for the non-defender monsters. Defensive monster will have zero dodge, but all the luck, so they won't be able to move between monsters, but they will be able to lock them in place. Neutral summon will have half of each. Uh, weakening Christ debuff to 15 instead of 50, and uh, the uh, fix, uh, bug fix. The origin acting, we did a, I did a video on it, so I'm not going to cover it, but uh, up to 40 fury and uh, stuff like that, where Jinak is now can be cast whenever you want, but it could consume one fury for each AP, MP, or waifu point being cast, and so on, little difference and stuff, and some passive. Uh, I did not see all the passive, but for this, I'm just going to tell you to read it, because it's really just a big class change. We're not going to go there. Uh, what I want to go there, do though, is the, the rest after. Tandawa, okay, whatever. No, there was a change to the item. Flaming Bird, Thirst. Thirst is being debuffed a lot. Oh, this spell is that good? What is the Thirst spell? Dizzy, two level. Oh, okay. If you carry your barrel, you can use this spell to switch place with an ally or scaled an enemy. So, scaled, oh, okay, that's the thing. 40% indirect damage received. Okay, I guess that's why. Maybe it's uh, something that is really used for high level content for something. It could be used for the Magic Rictus, Magic Rictus boss if you don't want to uh, do back damage on him in someone his house, right? You could use this to get Scald him just to have more poison damage and everything. Uh, but uh, Glyph, Poison, and stuff like that. Also, the uh, Heliotrope, uh, you know, backfire attack. Not backfire, but the Heliotrope, when you do your, your thing on the floor uh, with the heart. Uh, let me just say it straight, right? When you use this, uh, this thing. I don't have it in my spells. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the, uh, yeah, okay, I see. There we go. Trembler. The other attack, the attack after your turn is considered indirect damage. At least on Magic Rictus is worth the boss. Okay, so yeah, it's been increased from, it's been increased by one action point and one waku point instead of just one action point, but now it has two more range that is not modifiable, modifiable so you cannot be blind with it. You can be blind, but it will not matter. Can only be cast every two turn, basically. I think when cast on enemy, yeah, I think it's every two turn. That's basically what it means. Yeah, two turn cooldown. And you now apply scale. Oh, okay, it has been added. Okay, okay, I see. Blood Rush is not limited to four cast per turn. So, Blood Rush, I think, is the. Uh, Sacrier. Uh, Blood Rush is the... Oh, okay, no, that's this one. That's the one you, you're you receiving damage. I was thinking uh, the Bloodthirsty Fury. Fury. Okay. All right, so for cast per turn. Okay. And the first time you reach... By, with Batfire damage, the first time you will reach 1 HP, but if you do it again, then you die. Okay. The Sadida now has a full point regeneration as a state. I think it was not a state. I'm not sure. But uh, you now get what full point regeneration. Uh, let's see, I don't really play Sadida. I used to play it on a different account, but uh, at the start of every two turn, regenerate one work point. I don't know if it was this way, but uh, yeah. 
Upper Mage Curse. Okay, whatever. I don't know what it means, but all right. Big the the big uh, flop for from this update for me, right? Xalor is one of, was was on my main, one of my main, but that's a big that's a big uh, yeah um a big nerf. That's what I meant. So basically. Uh, Dark Bolt has been increased to 5 action points of 3 and is now 4 action points of 5 but also do, does less damage. Thus is now 3 action points instead of 4 but also less damage. Sand Glasses is now uh, triggered at the beginning, at the start of the target turn. Okay, casting a spell on target with this. Okay, so Distortion has been added to the to the to to these attacks. So they were not, which was a big pain in my opinion. So I think it's a fix here. But this is a big nerf to my current uh, playstyle of Xelar because I play single target distance. And this is just like destroying the single target. I mean destroying. Basically, Hamor uh, is the same damage as before. But now it's only one per target and also uh, three per turn. It used to be two per target, four per turn. Right, so one less hit, the chain hit will only be three max, and also you cannot cast it twice on the same target. So if you don't have three targets visible, that's pretty annoying as well. So big nerf here, the end here, right? This is the this was the kill thing. It's still a kill thing, but you it used to be five action point, but doing a good damage. So you you can't when you're sure that you can kill with it, you use it. You kill and then you get back your five action point, but now it's four, so you have less chance to be able to kill with it, and basically uh, it's just less worth it. But it's still pretty strong. But again, big nerf, and the dusting. The dusting is kind of a buff for it though, because it's it used to be four, now it's three, so it will be more easy to use. But it's necessary because if you play single target, the only spell you have will be. I mean, still these, right? That's basically the spell you have for single target. This is the area, 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 and also area, right? Uh, no, so this one is single target. But if you hair, I'm not hair, I'm my water fire. But yeah, also uh, to use for targets. Yeah, this one could be decent, I guess, at this point. Uh, hair, but if you, yeah. Fire water was the best in my opinion because you have distortion and everything, but that's really limiting the amount of attack you can do in a turn. I don't know. I'm really not a big fan of it because my Zadar was my carry. Now it's just it will be a big pain to carry with this. Well, what? That's weird. Anyway, so that's my big complaint here. Big uh, nerf to the Zadar. Masquerader, some picks, monster, whatever, change for the tough house and stuff like that. Not really sure. But they said some monster will move faster. So maybe that's, I don't know. I will see when I do these dungeons. Well, I'm not going to do a video yet for these. But just, uh, these are, all these dungeons I covered already. Uh, I, I have a video, all of them. You can do, you can do them with my on my YouTube. You can search the literary name, right? If you want to do like for example on Thy World, you go on my channel, search up. I'm on my main right now. You search here on Thy World, and you will have the guide to clear on Thy World. And then you expand this, show more, and the boss will summon grave. Blah blah. I put the description. You don't have to watch the video. Just just so you know, again, that is really annoying. For example, so you can just put Hagen, uh, go back to my channel, put Hagen, whoop, Hagen, and then you will have uh, nothing, it seems. <clears throat> what is happening? Okay, go in videos then and do the same. Sometime on the main, main page, it's still not working, that's weird. 
Oh, uh, sometimes you need more words, so you can put does. No, it's just bug. What is wrong with you, YouTube? Okay, it was bug for some reason. Uh, so again, does is also an annoying one where you have to uh, remove 20 action point uh, to remove the armor. So you will see it there for his boss. Blah, blah. Anyway, that's not a point. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm just... Uh, interface build can be sort nice. I, I It was a big annoying part for me. I had to erase all my build and redo them. But now you can click on them and you can switch them. So if I want the job... Uh, the the real level one real level one, okay you cannot yeah okay you can so I can put down my I don't know the real level is the first one no matter what but yeah so you can do your build like this and always add them one by one and move them so that's pretty good because uh, again for me it was a big pain but I already did it but if I knew this would happen I would not have uh, I would have wait. In my case, it was not that necessary since I play uh, auto build. Uh, transportation uh, interface has been enlarged. Okay, let's see. So now the transportation uh, screen here, instead of being that small, it will be like, nah, pretty much the same. But I guess it's maybe a, a little bigger. It could be bigger, uh, even bigger, in my opinion. Like when you transport, why do you need to see other things, right? But anyway. uh, natural states is show gameplay, so we shown this. The purchase limit marketplace is now okay. Purchase limit is now nine nine. Okay, so you can put uh, when the there is items that go over one thousand, you can now buy more, right? You can go over it because you used to have to put nine 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 buy and then nine 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 buy. Uh, shortcuts now show more than nine 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 items when they need to show one thousand. Or more items, the number is shown as K. Okay, K is being uh, a thousand, so 99K, yeah. The minimap, the clan member shot no longer appear in spectator mode, okay. Uh, so basically when you spectate someone fight, in case you don't know. Uh, selecting a quantity at machine is limited to the value that, oh, nice, that's pretty good. When I buy, when I buy things with token, I had to guess, I had to calculate the amount of tokens I had divided by the number and make sure to be a, uh, and then sometime when I was not sure, just go down one by one, right? Using the shift key in the enchantment window lets you reach the highest possible level, okay? You can now switch. Yeah, the enchantment, I, I guess I just skipped something because the enchantment is now 11. Maybe I will see it later, but the uh, enchantment has now an 11th level for items to 15 plus. Uh, you can now switch from enchantment statistic to another without having to confirm. Okay, Stas status goes slider no longer exceed the maximum allowed when opening the interface from a dungeon where you cannot increase the difficulty any further. The difficulty should only be lower, you can only lower it when you're in the dungeon. In the dungeon. The keys category is back in the marketplace, makes sense. When hovering over recipe cosmetics, uh, it indicated whether you can learn them and recipe. Okay will be okay I'm not exactly sure about this but I mean I, I understand but we'll see when it happens the chat collect setting has changed it's now it is now safe for each chat window when you got to your chat the old size restore what so if you create a new chat here and you put it there you, you have changed settings for that is it what is it what is it I don't know whatever um, I don't use it. I all I'm just play on private here, so my, I can see my private message, and I put it on general when I need the green, right? The the five things. The interface for separating part of items, item cameras, having wall collector and buying this, I've been refreshed. Added arrows, numbers. Okay. You can now equip the same ring on several equipment page. The same ring. Why? Why the same ring? Do you mean everything? Is it just the ring? 
why would ring would be the only thing? Okay, so let's say I have my level 50 equipment, right? So I, I will... How do you equip the ring on different builds, though? How do you put it on an, another build if it has to be put in, in your build? What? It was a bug, basically. So I guess there was a bug that if you have two of the same ring and you put them on a different equipment page, they will go like, no, you cannot equip the same ring twice, right? It was a bug, right? I guess that's weird. The size of the minimap is now saved. The minimap. What does that mean as well? The minimap. There is a minimap? There is the big map. I, I don't know. I did not know there was a minimap. Or maybe there is a minimap. But I don't know. The default value, uh, volume has changed, okay, Moon Epaulette does not have horas, chat class setting is not safe for each chat <coughs> window. Character no longer run on the spot after the importation. I think this one was a visual only for yourself, right? So when I teleport, I was like flying with my characters, but only me see it because I, using my second account, I could see that it was not uh, happening. Uh, default is now uh, allocation when the game is launched. Take account the computer install memory. Mm, okay, so the admin settings you don't have to do it anymore. Remington concurrently appears in all cases after. Okay, whatever. Between. Okay, whatever as well. Uh, Manzanet is no longer considered to be a dungeon. So, okay. Uh, sitting. Oh, okay, cool. You can now write your. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. So now I can be on a mount and still feel like sort my stuff okay good it was kind of dumb but yeah um yeah the server stability has been improved okay cosmetics inventory the collapse setting save for an account in the industry the collapse setting quest inventory save for the current character Regular inventory, the collapse setting. What is the collapse setting? Ah, whatever. Ah, it's not a big point to me. But I guess there is a collapse setting. Okay, so I did I did not see the stasis thing. Maybe it it was uh, the stasis, but ancient twenty one. So let let me just see again if there is a ancient twenty one somewhere. And uh, this is just something I missed fast, or did I miss a section? Okay, let, let's do a control F21, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Items, okay, I did skip this fast. All right, uh, Elevent, um, why did I put 21? Anyway, that did work, but that was 11, and it was in words, so that's better that I put 21, actually. 216 would have been the right one. Yep, yeah, an Elevent level of enchantment. That's just uh, I'm not a big fan of enchantment. I'm not a big fan of like layers of costing more, right? Because to me, to me, my personal opinion, the game will be better if there was no enchantment or sublimations. You just drop your equipment and you don't bother with the. Because I mean, of course, if you play only one character, I understand. The thing is. I don't have friends, <laughs> so I play alone. And alone, I have to play six accounts. And it's really annoying to have to, like, you know, choose all your enchantment, do all your stuff on six characters. The builds are also a pain. That's why I play on auto build, because doing all of these builds, really painful as well. But sure, if you're playing with five friends and you're a team of six, or at least one friend, so you won't, you split the job in two. Like you play three characters, you play three. Okay, that's 
that's better in a way and you also like you motivate yourself with your friend but uh like you motivate each other to, to do it but by myself it's just so painful but uh, again that's my opinion uh i know i'm not the hardcore type of player and stuff like that so yeah anyway so that's it for the update let me know in the comment what is your opinion and uh yeah so for me big props I'm not sure if is that the right word, but big win for the quick trade, really nice. Big loss for the Xelar. To be fair, the Xelar was really strong though. Uh, is now like more normal. To me, that means that the Xelar is now like uh, I don't know. It's uh, uh and the Dark Ball is now five action points, so I get they increase the AOE build and it decreased the single target build so now they're both pretty similar in a way like uh, dark bolt is pretty strong right the rebound 180 damage that's a lot of damage for a rebound but you have to do a rebound right then it's only on an enemy so one enemy so yeah the that can be pretty strong but the rebound is itself is stronger than regular five action point and you also deal half the damage on this first target but uh, yeah, but the rebound has to be two cells, so you need to head me two cell away. Anyway, but yeah. So that's it for this one. Have a good one. Bye.